Hello, in today's Archive Scoop, my top three headlines are as follows. Headline number one, uh, the Kent Archaeological Field School, excavating in the North Downs in Kent, have unearthed a henge-like structure on roughly the same scale as Stonehenge. Although it's worthwhile mentioning that Stonehenge isn't actually a henge. It gets a bit complicated, really. Anyway, this particular structure is relatively uncommon in the southeast of England, and therefore the archaeologists are getting rather excited, and I'm sure as the excavation proceeds, it'll become even more interesting. So check out headline number one for more on that. Headline number two is with regards to Peking Man, uh, an archetypal, indeed a famous, I suppose, as well, fossil um, from the history of evolution. Um, these particular fossils, though, uh, were unearthed uh, near to Beijing, starting in 1927, and a series of measurements done have now um, identified that they may actually represent an isolated um, element or pocket of humanity um, evolving on its own without much gene flow for uh, around about 300,000 years. They did lots of measurements, 3D scans, this kind of thing, and came to the conclusion that morphologically, i.e. The, the physical appearance of them, they didn't really change much over 300,000 years, and therefore perhaps there wasn't much in the way of genes coming in and going out of their particular gene group. Um, so this, uh, this is a, a, an interesting development, especially uh, if you're interested in uh, Peking Man and also evolutionary anthropology in the east of, uh, well, the Eurasian continent. So uh, well worth a look if you're interested. That's headline number two. Headline number three uh, is actually with regards to the National Geographic. They're sending uh, an archaeological team to Kyrgyzstan, uh, where Tamerlane uh, built a palace by a lake. And they're actually going to be um, uh, essentially publicising the excavation and what they find as it's uncovered as time goes on. So this, this could be quite an interesting project depending on how long they stick with it. They're going to be uh, putting out updates via Google Plus and also um, a blog. So if you don't want to get involved in social media per se, you can always follow the blog. And the links uh, to those uh, elements are in the news story itself. So check out headline number three if you want to find out more. I think I'll probably be following developments uh, just because it sounds interesting. So there you go. Uh, for those uh, three headlines and all of the, the other news stories that I can find from around the world today, check out all the links below in the information bar. And until next time, look after yourselves. Bye-bye.